guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing three different summer-inspired slimes, so let's get started. That first slime is called Beach Ball, and I'm going to be doing a Beach Ball slime, so let's get into the materials. Okay, so for this first slime, I'll be using a bunch of different foam beads. I'll be using blue, pink, and yellow, or you guys can just use rainbow foam beads, and I might just use a little bit of rainbow foam beads. Next, you'll need some school glue, a mixing bowl, and mine is like, really dirty because it has a lot of dry slime in it, but a cup of water, borax, and lastly, something to mix with, but let's get into the video. I'm sorry for the background noise, but so the first thing I'm going to want to do is make the activator. So this is a semi-strong activator because one cup of borax, I mean one tablespoon of borax, but one cup of water equals a, um, a fairly amount of good activator, but I'm going to make mine a semi-strong. So this is um, one teaspoon of borax, and I'm going to pour it into, I don't know, I just did eyeball it. Um, you can't really eyeball it, um, but that is one, depending um. You just have to be careful when you add this into the glue because it can overactivate it and all that, depending on how strong the activator is. And we can use this for all three of the different slimes, so yeah. Okay, so I just put that activator to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna just add in my glue to my mixing bowl. And then after that, this is optional, but you can add some water. So I'm gonna add some water now. And now I'm gonna mix it all together. And at this time, you can add whatever you want, like a scent or, yeah. So I'm going to be adding in a cotton candy scent. This one kind of smells like blue raspberry cotton candy. It smells really good, and I really like, like this scent. And I'm going to just mix that in. And now we can start activating with the activator we previously just made. So I'm going to add it in mine slowly. And as you can see, it's starting to activate, and I'll just be starting eating it until everything is coming off of the walls. Idiot that I am, accidentally overactivated this, and so you guys can add lotion is what I'm going to be doing, um, just in case you overactivate it. And the thing is, with the slime you're making, you would actually want to underactivate it so the foam beads can um, not stick inside. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and knead in some lotion. Guys, so I've been kneading for quite a while now, and it has um, very much so deactivated. And I actually really like this texture. This always happens when I'm trying to film a slime video. I, I love the base texture, and then I don't want to do anything to it. But I will have to do something to it. So now it's really up to you on how much foam beads you would like to add to it. And I'm thinking I might make this like a kind of semi-full foam. So, yeah. Okay, so this is how the slime turned out. It's more like an Easter slime looking kind of thing, but it does not really resemble a beach ball. But I still think it's really cute, and it is really, really crunchy, and it has amazing bubble pops. And yeah, I really like the scent of it. I feel like it really matches the summer theme because carnivals always have cotton candy. So that's what it reminds me of. Sorry if this like, random yellow foam beat is bothering you. Next time is iced lemonade. So let's get started with the materials. Jelly cube sponge, clear glue, activator, which we previously made in the last clips, a mixing tool, and the next thing is watered down food coloring. And the reason why I want it watered down is easier for me because um, the concentrated one, like I just add one drop and it's literally like blinding my eyes. So that's why I like to water it down so it's a little bit easier. And yeah, and you, the last thing you'll need is actually some scissors to cut down. 
Okay, so I cut them into little cubes, and you can either make, like, three gumbo ones or, like, a bunch of mini ones. So, yeah. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this on the side. Okay, so moving on to the slime. I think I forgot to mention that you need something to mix with, but that's pretty obvious, and yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pour in the clear glue into the mixing bowl, and... I'm gonna add in some water, and now I'm just gonna mix that all together. And this is when you can add in your food coloring. And now I'm just going to lightly activate it because um, when you add in the jelly cubes, it will unstickify it, I guess. The, the jelly cubes will absorb the stickiness. So I'm just going to add a very little activator. Maybe like that much. And then continue the process of what we did last time. Okay guys, so I finished kneading it, and guess who's the idiot that overactivated again? Me! And so I, it is jiggly now, and it, it's really, really kind of kind of thin slime, but it's really nice actually. But now we're going to go ahead and put the ice cubes in, so I'm going to go ahead and get a container so you guys can see it. And let it wait for about three, two to three days and let it clear up and then we can do some ASMR. So this next slime is a watermelon inspired slime. So this slime has two parts to it. So let's get started. Okay, for the first material, the first part of the materials you'll be needing is white school glue, mixing activator, something to mix with, green food coloring or green paint. For the second part of this slime, you'll need jelly cube sponge, something to mix with, something to mix in, clear glue, black glitter, activator, lastly red paint and optional some water. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first part of the slime, I am going to be adding in my white glue. And you're not going to need a lot of glue for this one. Okay, now I'm just going to add in a little bit of water. Mix that together. Okay, now I'm going to be adding in my green paint. And now we can just slowly activate it. And of course, if you guys have a watermelon scent, you guys can totally add that in. But I don't have a watermelon scent, so. And now we're going to repeat the process of kneading. I finally made a slime that I did not accidentally over-activate. But this slime is really clicky. And I'm just going to put this to the side and make part two of the watermelon slime. So let's get started. Actually, the slime is like really, actually, really clicky. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut my jelly cubes. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in my clear glue. So, of course, I'm just gonna pour it in. And for this one, you're not gonna need a whole lot of glue since you're gonna be adding in a lot of jelly cubes. And now I will be adding in some water. And now I'm just going to stir that up. And now I can be adding in my color and my black glitters. So. 
And I don't recommend adding a whole lot of black glitter, just like a little bit. As I see when I pour a whole bunch of black glitter inside of it. And I'm gonna mix that in. Actually, that's a, a good amount, I think. And now I'm gonna add in my red paint. I'm just going to go ahead and activate this up. And as I said, keep in mind, you don't want to activate it a whole lot. So the jelly cubes can absorb the stickiness. So, yeah. Okay, so I just finished kneading this, and now I'll be adding in the jelly cubes. So I finished putting in the jelly cubes, and now we just have to crush them all to make it that icy kind of weird, nice texture that a watermelon has. And now I finished putting it all together and I crushed all the jelly cubes and now I'm going to put it into the container and even it out to put the green slime in. And so this is the green slime. It is really okay and I just got black glitter all over it. But this slime is really clicky and I have actually made another slime and it is a darker green because I realized that watermelons have two different colors two different green colors on them so here i have a dark green slime this one is i made this green slime in a previous video that i never posted um and yeah okay now i'm just gonna flatten everything and add in the green slime and i'm gonna make a pattern dark green light green dark green light green and then i'm just gonna keep on layering it and layering it Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hit that like button and subscribe and go follow me on my Instagram.